This is one of two anchor knots that you need to know. This one I uh, call Ted's anchor knot simply because Ted Warren uh, was instrumental in the fall fisheries camp for a lot of years and this is his chosen anchor knot and it's a fairly commonly used one. A lot of folks will use it. One of the big advantages of this one is you'll always be able to untie it. So to start this knot you pass the working end of the rope through the eye of the anchor. You then bring the working end back around, wrap it around itself, and then it goes back through the eye of the anchor the way it came. That is pretty much the bulk of the knot. The problem here is that this knot will slip, so you do need to tie three half hitches to secure this anchor. Didn't leave myself enough rope, but this knot is not complete without those half hitches. So let's tie that again. If you were a cowboy in the Old West, you would use this knot to hitch your horse outside of the saloon. So pass the working end through the eye of the anchor, comes back around the standing part of the rope, and then back through the eye the way it came, and then one, two, and three half hitches. The half hitches are an integral part of Ted's anchor knot. They must be there for it to not slip. So, let's tie that one more time. So we go through the eye of the anchor with the working end of the rope. That rope comes around itself and back through the way it came. And then one, two, and three half hitches. And there is Ted's anchor knot. To see this knot after you've tied it, there's your half hitches binding down on the knot itself. The knot itself, you'll see the rope coming through the eye, wrapping around the standing part of the rope, and then passing back through the eye of the anchor. Now that you've seen the full version of Ted's anchor knot, I want to show you the quick and easy way to get into the first step of Ted's anchor knot, the munter hitch. Just gonna, we're going to take a bite, and we're just going to pass the bite through the eye, and then we're going to take the short end, the working end of the rope, and we're going to pass it through the bite. And there we have our munter hitch, that sliding hitch that you're familiar with. And from there, just our three half hitches, and you've got the full anchor knot. So the advantage, once again, of Ted's anchor knot is you can always get it undone. Because the first step is a munter hitch, it doesn't matter how hard you pull on this, it's not going to tighten down because it'll slip. It's just the three half hitches that hold it in place while you're using it as an anchor knot, but the munter hitch won't bind down on itself. So I'll just show you that one more time with a different colored rope. Once again, we're going to make a bite, put the bite through the eye, and then just put the working end of the rope through, and there you have your munter hitch. Finish off with three half hitches, and that's Ted's anchor knot.